Hello again, welcome back to my channel. If today is your first time here, hello, I am Grace Annabelle, the chef behind this channel. I hope by the special grace of God, you all are doing amazingly good. All right, guys, so in today's video, I'm sharing with you one of my grandmom's recipe, okay? So this soup right here is peanut soup. Okay, so you can make peanut soup without peanut butter, All right? So, um, growing up, I saw my grandma making peanut soup using raw peanuts, some turkey berries, and also eggplant, okay? So today, I'm sharing the recipe with you. So come with me to my kitchen, and let's start cooking. So the peanut here I have is um the red-skinned peanut. You can use the pink-skinned peanut as well, and that is 195 grams, okay? I have here one teaspoon of um anise seed, and one teaspoon of dried rosemary. One medium-sized onion minced. I'll be steaming my meat with that. One chicken um, seasoning. Six um, eggplants. I'm using the red ones. Two medium-sized tomatoes. Five habanero peppers. You can use more or less. Six cloves of garlic. Um, about a thumb size of ginger. One red onion and two um, brown onion or Spanish onion. I'm using medium sizes and I have here my chicken, which I have taken my time, washed it nicely. And there is my turkey. You can use any meat, any protein of your choice, okay? So into this pot, I'll add in my peanut, which I have washed. And then um, add in the eggplant um, and then the pepper. So I'm using the red eggplant because those ones are perfect for making soup. My mom and granny always tell me that whenever I'm making soup with eggplant, I should use the red ones. All right, so now I've added in my pepper as well. So I'll add in enough water and bring those to a boil. Okay, so next into my pot, I'll add in my um, chicken. I'm using hot chicken and then the turkey. Next, I'll add in my minced uh, onions and then the salt. I'll cover those and bring those to a boil on a low heat, okay? So as you can see, I didn't add any water to this. I want the chicken to, the meat to cook in its own juices, all right? So next, I will dice up or chop up my onions just to make life easy for my blender. Yeah, for easy blending. Next is the ginger. Okay, and all those will go in my blender. Now to that, I'll add my um, anise seed, dried rosemary, and then the ch um, chicken um, seasoning cube, followed by water and blend. So granny will add um, turkey berries, which is cone suswa or a bedru, to her peanut soup. But I do not have one, so I did not add that. But should you get your hands on um turkey berries, go ahead and add that, okay? So at this point, I'll give my meat a very good stir. So my um chicken and turkey has been um simmering on a low heat for five minutes. I've given it a very good stir. I will leave it for another five minutes, okay? Oh, yeah, I'm quite a patch of my dear. So, but she's not me, all right? Yes, so um, 
I've been um the meat has been simmering on low heat for 10 minutes. So at this point, I'll add in my um blended veggies and um spice, so which is the onion, garlic, ginger, rosemary, anise seed, and then the chicken seasoning cube. I'll give this a very good stir. I've also rinsed my blender and I've added that to it. Okay, so I'll give this a very good stir. Cover it and leave it to cook on low heat for 10 minutes. Okay, so next, uh, my peanuts and the eggplant and pepper is ready. It's cooked now, so I'll transfer that into a blender, add in enough water and blend this. Right, I'll then pour this into a strainer and strain it. As you can see, it came out really, really thick. So I'll add in some water for easy flow. Right, so I'm putting the chaff back into the blender. I'm going to blend that for the second time. Right, so now I'll pour um, the mixture on my soup base. And then go ahead and blend the chaff for the second time and strain it. All right, so I'll pour that in the soup. So now we are actually making the soup, okay? Yeah, so I'll give those a very good stir. Okay, so I'll add in my tomatoes and then the... um onions so remember the brown onion was chew and then i blended one together with the red onion the garlic the ginger and then the um spices okay and now i have the other one in the soup okay so at this point the soup is boiling so you don't have to cover this okay remember not to cover it should you cover it your soup will boil up it will boil to the top and it will overflow okay and that is going to cause a mess on your cooker okay so now the soup is boiling to prevent the soup from from boiling up and making a mess on my cooker i will scoop some of the soup and then pour it back in this is allowing some air in there and it's all right so at this point it's been cooking for 30 minutes i will now remove the um, tomatoes and then the onion and blend that together Okay, so after blending that, I'll pour it in there 
and you look at the magic that this will do to the soup it's going to give the soup a very vibrant color look at that and that is not just color it's also flavor and aroma okay so i'll give it a very good stir and this time i'll turn down the heat to the lowest setting okay so as you can see i'm scraping the the ends okay into the soup yes that is very flavorful okay so my soup has been cooking for um um 50 minutes i will allow those to cook on a low heat for another 10 more minutes yes peanut soup needs a lot of patience okay you have to be very patient when cooking peanut soup okay let the soup cook on a low heat let it take its time and cook really really well you don't want to get any stomach ache after eating your peanut soup you don't want to run to the loo every second after eating your peanut soup all right okay so now my soup has been cooking for a total of one hour and i am very confident that my soup is ready all right so you can have the um peanut soup with yam you can have it with a bar you can have it with fufu banku kenke gari i mean name it all all right so if you are craving for peanut soup and you do not have peanut butter go and get yourself some raw peanut and prepare soup with it okay so look at how beautiful the soup is looking this is not just beautiful it's it's so delicious it smells amazing in my kitchen right now and we had the soup with um fufu you can have it with omutu as well yes you can <laughs> all right guys so thank you all so so much for watching if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please click on that red subscribe button and also turn on your post notification bell so anytime i upload a video you will be notified all right so until i come your way with something delicious something finger licking something mouth watering stay safe stay out of trouble be true to yourself and to remember that life's greatest lessons are usually learned at the worst times and from the worst mistakes i will see you again in my next one bye bye